Hello and welcome to this Kogi Engine tutorial. I'm Renault and today I'm going to talk about how to create your own game using the Kogi Engine. Um, there are a lot of tutorials already out there uh, that showcase specific stuff. Today I'm, I'm going to talk about more general advice and uh, how you can you know, uh, move from there and create something really special. So if you uh, already tried the, the asset, the Corgi engine, or maybe the demos, you may have, have seen that it comes bundled with uh, quite a lot of uh, levels. This, for example, is uh, Misa 2. It's uh, a level that was, I think, in the very first version of the engine, although it's uh, changed quite a bit. And then you have a lot of other, other levels. Uh, most of them are accessible using this map uh, that links them all together and uh, here for example I'm playing uh, the features platform level which features the, the minimal uh, character and universe you know all these blocks they're really quite useful when when prototyping uh, you can reuse them all and it's really a really good and fast way to set up a level as you can see um, this level is mostly based of um, you know demo features like there's a rope there are teleporters uh, water and you can you know uh, give a try to all that there are ladders uh, so really the, the first thing when you want to create your own game is to try these levels try these demos maybe uh, you know uh, pause the game and uh, have a look at how it's built select the stuff uh, look okay uh, I liked this crate in this level maybe uh, I can learn how it's done and how it's built so it has a health component it has a box collider it has a health bar all right so um, one way to do that would be to simply you know replace visual assets so um, to do that really it's simple all you have to do is locate uh, the file you want to modify or create a new one and you replace it or add your own creation there's not much else to say about that uh, in in this case of this crate uh, it's uh, sprite based and uh, the sprite is here it's called uh, destructible block uh, it has this this face and uh, you can you can you know just um, I guess uh, you can show it in Explorer and uh, it's a PNG and you can maybe uh, edit that PNG and change it to something else and it, uh, it will work right away. So uh, for example, I'm gonna um, switch to, uh, to Photoshop here and uh, I was just you know trying uh, stuff in, in YouTube for these tutorials. Uh, so if I you know add something like a face uh, to this character, well this is great. Um, it's, it's extremely ugly. Uh, if I go back to my folder, I see it's a PNG, so I need to save it as a PNG. I click uh, save, I just have to uh, go back to the folder where it was. So it was in Kogi Engine Demos. Kogi 2D sprites probably, uh, environment and props it again I just save it replace and now if I go back to unity ta -da, I have smiling crates so really that's the first thing uh, you can do you can just you know select uh, sprites mountains everything the, the, the characters uh, the trees you can change really everything and it's as simple as editing an image of course you can do much more than that um, if you do that you will only change the the appearance of things uh, you can do more by uh, for example changing the speed of characters and tweaking uh, their behaviors through components the Kogi engine comes with a lot a lot of classes uh, and components but all of them have a focus on simplicity and ease of use even for beginners so uh, for example I have this blob character here if I press play, uh, you'll see that I'm, I'm just going to drag this here. So if I, if I press play, you'll see that it's uh, you know just uh, moving uh, back and forth towards this now smiling box, and I can hit it and kill it. So that's basically what it does. And if I touch it, it 
will hurt me. Um, but I can change a lot of stuff without any code. For example, I can decide that it's uh, patrolling or maybe now it's moving on site. I can decide that it's uh, walking maybe faster using this component here. I can change its walking speed to maybe 20. And if I press play again, you'll see that it's now walking really fast. Um, I can also decide that maybe its health is uh, much more and now it's going to be much harder to kill. I can add an effect uh, when it gets damaged. Uh, if I go to uh, explosion, well now when every time it will uh, take damage there will be uh, a blob explosion. Uh, see that's the pink effect uh, every time I hit it. Um, so of course here I added uh, effects that were already there but you can of course add your own and um, so that's that's also a way that you can tweak stuff inside the another way you can add stuff to the Corgi engine would be to uh, uh, you know just create new classes you can have new components you can have new coins and stuff you can have new weapons you can have new abilities uh, maybe you want an end credit scene that would showcase everyone who's worked on that project of yours. Well, there's not such a component in the engine right now and there isn't anything remotely close to that in the engine. So that's typically the kind of situation where you want to create your own class. Uh, starting from scratch, you will not extend anything, it's unrelated to anything and you're free to do whatever you want. From your own classes, you'll still be able to access uh, the rest of the engine. You'll still be able to, for example, access the level manager or the game manager and get references to the current character, stuff like that. So uh, really, the engine is built with good practices in mind. Uh, it's really easy to, to extend. And, and sometimes uh, you'll find that you'll want some of the existing classes to behave a bit differently and you'll find that maybe the tweaks you can do from the inspector are not enough. So um, one thing you can do when you come to that uh, is to just extend classes. Uh, for example, there are already a lot of examples actually in the engine. Uh, the character horizontal movement class, for example, it extends character ability. And character ability itself is a mono behavior. And th there's nothing specific to the engine here. It's just, you know, basic. Uh, basic stuff where you will uh, override methods, where you will, you know, uh, specify another behavior. Um, most, if not all, the methods in the engine are marked as virtual, which means you can easily override them to suit your own needs. Um, I strongly suggest using inheritance and polymorphism to reuse and extend as much code as possible. But in any case, I strongly recommend not modifying any of the existing uh, classes create your own extend the engine script into your own classes that way you won't have your work erased when updating to the next version uh, I hope uh, this was helpful and that you will now be able to create uh, your own features and your own stuff and customize the, the asset to your own needs thank you and uh,